What's going on fishing fam? Today, I, I woke up this morning, drove about an hour, and I'm gonna go fish this pond. It's a fire pond actually. It's a with fire pond guy. And fire pond guy, how fire is this frozen pond that we just arrived at? <laughs> like, this was open yesterday. And now it's not. Nope. So, <laughs> I drove, <laughs> drove an hour because this pond was open yesterday. It was open water and somehow it froze in one night, even though yesterday it was like 60 degrees outside. 71? 71, something like that. I don't know. I have no idea what we're gonna do. I mean, it's cold right now. It's like 40 degrees. I don't know why I'm wearing this this t-shirt. If actually you wanna cop this t-shirt, link's in the description. Um, Yeah, so not exactly sure where this vlog's gonna go. We might have to drive back in town and uh, try to find some open water because I don't think this is gonna open anytime soon later all right guys so i haven't really picked up the camera hole a lot we drove about 30 minutes into town and literally just drove around until we found a pond that wasn't completely frozen this one's still about half frozen uh, but not completely frozen so we're gonna give this a shot N none of us have ever been here it's me fire pond guy a couple of buddies and uh never been here no idea if there's even fish in this lake no idea if you can even fish this lake but you know, I gotta travel about an hour. I gotta try to make the most of the day and try to get a video for you guys. This should be interesting. All right, I'm starting off with the old jerk bait. No idea how, how deep this, this little pond is here. There's a little bit of ice. There's some ice right there. We'll see ya. Start with the jerk bait. It's kind of my confidence bait when it's this cold, when there's half, when the lake's half frozen. I like going with jerk bait, so we'll give it a shot. See ya. See if we can actually catch anything. Yeah, it's not very deep. I don't think the old jerk bait's gonna do her. Dang, definitely not. All right, so scratch the jerk bait. We've got a lot of nasty stuff in here. I might try a drop shot and see if I can get that to work. I don't know how. I don't know how tall these weeds are though. I don't know. I'll throw, I'll throw the drop shot around and see what happens. Dude, that's a fish. I'm not, I'm not kidding, dude. Are you serious? I'm not kidding. Oh yeah, come on, buddy. Yes, son. Oh, get up in here, boy. Hey, come here. There we go, folks. <laughs> Look how fat that thing is, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Why is it so, dude, that is a muddy, bat looking bass. Well, folks, there she is. No. Look at that little little drop shot action Dude, that there. Is the most pale fish. Dude, I've ever this seen. this fish is literally five degrees right now. All right. Degrees. It's, <laughs> it's freaking freezing. Look at that. He's wearing lipstick and everything. Did you say, quote, this might be a vegan? <laughs> hey, I was using light line on a drop shot rod. All right. This is a big end to me right there. That's what we're after. First fish pond we've never been to before. Heck yeah, son. All right, gonna get it, gonna get a release on this guy. I gotta, I gotta chuck him past this. So no hate, no hate for the, uh, the aggressive release, but I can't be throwing him on top of the ice. See you, buddy. Oh, he made it. He's good to go. What's that? Okay. Thank you. Lake's private. All right, so we got, we got kicked out where we just were. So we, the guy told us. The guy was really nice. He told us to go to. Uh, the, the other side of the lake basically he said we were on his property but now we're on public property so we should be good to go i'm gonna try to catch at least one more fish on this drop shot and then we're gonna head back to the pond that we were at earlier this morning hopefully it's thawed out, yeah, you guys live out here? no we don't we're we just had talked to that guy there and he said we could come fish on this side well if you guys don't live out here you guys can't fish oh really yeah okay oh my god well folks we're back in the back in the truck as I was literally just saying, we got kicked out. Now we're on we're on the pro like the side of the lake that you can fish. We got kicked out. I guess I guess you got to live there to uh, to fish there. I don't know. We left though. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna argue with them. Uh, you know, I respect I respect their rules, even if I think they're stupid. We're gonna head back to the pond that uh, we were at this morning that was frozen, and we're gonna shoot some guns. Maybe shoot guns into the ice to uh, to make the holes, and then we're gonna fish out of those holes. So it should be interesting. Thank you. 
Bull. Good shot. What the hell? Oh, don't Boy. be hit! <laughs> Bull. Oh, under. Bull. There you go. You got a piece of it. Pull. All right. Let me get this recording. Make sure you get these uh, these misses on camera. All right, go for it. Tuck him. Tuck him that smack. Pull. Doubles. Oh. You got two. I saw the second hit. Yep. There you go. We broke broke a jerk bait. We currently got some uh, some some buzz bait ice fishing action. We're right. attempting to break the ice with lures. All right, we'll see how the old the old hopper plopper goes. You ever seen anybody pitch a whopper plopper into ice? Is it gonna do? It? All right, chuck it way out there. So, what if it breaks? It won't break. I'll buy you new one if it breaks. There you go. Now just keep your rod low. Oh, really? Dude, it's like this isn't gonna do it, man. This is the contraption I just came up with. Got about a two ounce tungsten weight backwards and a hopper whopper. We're gonna see if this will break the ice. The old plop daddy. Oh. You got yourself a big one. We are determined to catch, to go fishing and catch fish. So we spent about the last 20 minutes trying to break the ice. There's a little open water out in the middle. I just cast a drop shot in there. I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna be able to catch this fish because this line's gonna break, but at least gonna give it a shot. All right, guys, we got a new technique here. Punching ice with a drop shot. You basically just bomb it up there as high as you can and just let it punch through the ice. And then once you get a fish, you're pretty much screwed because the ice is gonna cut your line. But at least, at least you can feel what a fish feels like tugging on the end. What's your name? Jake. Jake. I'm with Jake. So we left the fire pond with Alec. We went and got food. Wait, where's the other kid at? He's already walking down. He's already fishing? We went and got food and a young man named August recognized me and said he liked my video. So he sat down at our booth and we just kind of chilled and he was like, hey, got this fire pond. So now we're going to that fire pond and, and we brought Jake because this is Jake's fire pond technically. So we're here. This was kind of unplanned. We were planning on just going to get lunch and then going back to Alex's place and catching fish, but they said this one's open and there isn't ice to break through with a whopper plopper and there's big ends. So it should be kind of interesting. Alex, excited? Yeah, yeah. All right, <clears throat> we're at the new pond. No, no, I've never been here. Alex never been here. Like I said we just ran into some fans at lunch and they're like, hey, come try this. Oh, it's pretty dirty. Not bad though. I'm gonna start with the jerk bait. It's a little dirty for the jerk bait, so we'll just kinda have to see how this goes. They said they've caught some big ones though, some eights, sevens, twelves, seventeens. Good stuff. Yeah, this vegetation, it's shallow. It's super shallow. Well I'm currently throwing throwing a drop shot. Water's really muddy, so drop shot's probably not the most key bait. I've got Alec throwing a black and blue jig, which is probably what I would be throwing if I had a choice. I'm gonna keep trying to finesse them. But you know, we're dealing with 40 to 45 degree water temperature and muddy water. It's just not a good combination. But we're gonna we're gonna keep grinding. We like I said, we'll probably fish this pond maybe 20 more minutes and then head back to the original pond where we were breaking ice earlier and see if we can catch some fish. I'm determined. I'm determined to catch some fish today. A few moments later. So we made it to the other pond. Look at you guys look at this. Look at this. This is all this is all open. Literally. An hour ago, it was all frozen, and we were punching with drop shots and whopper plopper, Texas rig punch and stuff. Now, the entire thing is pretty much open, so I decided to tie on a net rig. Something I only really throw when I'm desperate, and at this point in time in my life, I'm freaking desperate. It's not happening. I'm all fixed out. It's not happening. We suck. Time to throw in the towel, boys. How's it going, folks? I am back home, as you guys can see. It was an absolute struggle. Today was one of those days where, you know, you get super excited to go fishing because the water is somewhat open and you go out there, but you forget that the water is still like 38, 40 degrees. That doesn't mean that you can't catch fish in that temperature. As you guys saw, I caught one fish today. And then like last week or two weeks ago or so, I posted a video where it's kind of the same thing. Half the, half the little pond was frozen, I caught a fish. But it's, 
it's not what you expect. You know, in the spring and in the summer and the fall, usually you can catch fish, you know, pretty frequently in ponds like that. Usually they're not too difficult to catch fish. But this time of year, the bass are super lethargic and super difficult to catch. So I know I kind of got my hopes up. I know I went fishing and I pond hopped a hit. I think three separate ponds and I did my absolute best. I fished the drop shot almost all day long, which is by far one of the most effective techniques for this time of year. That's the only bait that I think I've ever caught any fish on actually so far this year in Nebraska. Uh, fishing in the open water is just a little drop shot. For some reason that bait seems to work. But instead of scratching today, I decided to post the video anyway, uh, just in case you guys, you know, I want you guys to see me grind and I'm not just like sitting in my house uh, you know, not attempting to go catch fish. Although I can travel, I know a lot of you guys see everybody else travel, and I, I do travel quite a bit. I'm actually heading down to Texas later this week, so I will assure you there will be some better fishing videos than this one, but I wanted to post this one even though it was not the greatest. I did not catch the most fish and the biggest fish because you guys can hopefully take away uh, something from today's video. Maybe, you know, maybe you're not very good with the drop shot. Maybe you should go throw that drop shot around and maybe you can catch a fish, you know, in, the, in your local neighborhood pond or something like that if, if the ice is just now thawing. But I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys want to get the t-shirt right here, the uh, the new flare, this is my new logo. Hopefully you guys like it. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know in the, down in the comments down below if you guys like it. Um, I've got shirts, I've got hats, I've got who rags coming, I've got hoodies. Um, I've also got a shirt that I was wearing at the beginning of this video that I'm only probably gonna keep up for maybe three or four more days. So if you guys want that shirt, make sure you order it now. Link will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and peace. Oh my God! Oh my God!